A Portland businessman is using karate to help the earthquake and tsunami victims. Junkie Yoshida transformed his annual karate tournament today into a fundraiser. K2 Susan Harding is here. And Susan, one of the competitors arrived in Portland right around the same time that earthquake hit his homeland. That's right. And through an interpreter, he tells us he still can't believe it. After agonizing for hours, he finally found out that his family is safe while his country is in crisis. As Jinpei Suzuki competes for a medal, his thoughts are with his country, his family, and his friends. The martial arts expert doesn't know any English, but he doesn't need to understand the words to know what these images mean. He wasn't even thinking of a tournament. Once he found the earthquake hit in Japan, he's so worried about his family and everything. While judges evaluate each karate move, the tournament's organizer, Jinki Yoshida, keeps track of donations. We've got to do something. Uh, what level or how big, it doesn't matter, we've got to do something. From $1 bills to a $1,000 check in here, every donation makes a difference. But the young competitor from Japan says there is something else he'd rather see. His personal point of view, there's nothing to do with the money. He likes to see more people go there to help them. Physically, American people go to help, that means a lot to them. Yoshida says he is impressed by how quickly Americans got to work helping the survivors. I think this is another wake-up call to Japanese people. Hey, this is, America is our friend. With the competition over, Suzuki will return to his homeland tomorrow. But he's not sure he's ready for what he'll find. I believe I'm going to be so shocked. I cannot even imagine what kind of damage he's going to witness. And Yoshida is matching all of the money that was raised today. He has also learned that his family in Japan is safe, but he has friends there still in the northern part of Japan that he has still not been able to reach. And he said just hours after the earthquake, he did get some text messages from them. And one of them, the person just wrote, scared, scared, mm. scared. Boy, really hits home. Amazing that that young man was able to compete with everything that was going yes, on. Yes, he said he couldn't think about the competition, but he still wanted to go through with it. Yeah. All right, Susan, thank you.